Hey, what's good, everybody? God bless you guys in Jesus' name. I just want to stop by real quick to encourage you. You know, the Bible says, and I want to encourage you, if you're believing God for a healing and for a miracle, and before I end and shut the camera off, I'm also going to pray for you and believe God with and for you. See, the Bible says, by his wounds, we were healed. And one of the things that I really want to highly emphasize is that the same faith for salvation, because he went to the cross and died for our sins, but also is in like manner the same faith that he went to the whipping post to pay for our healing, our sickness, our disease, that infirmity, that oppression, that spiritual attack of whatever it is that the enemy is trying to throw at you and bring your way. If it has a name, it has to bow. If it has a name, it's got to surrender. So I want to encourage you today in the name of Jesus that by the stripes of our Christ, by the blood that, it, that was poured out upon Calvary, yes, for our sins, but also that the blood that was coming off of the back of his stripes, that by those wounds and by the stripes of Christ, you and I are and were healed in Jesus' name. And I know sometimes, and hear me, I'm with you. At times when we're dealing with something, that symptom may be speaking to you even right now. Yeah, brother, I, I, I know all that. And we think we do, but we sometimes really don't. Yeah, brother, I know all that. Been there, done that. Yeah, brother, I've heard that before. Yeah, brother. Yeah, brother, um, if it were really that easy, brother, then that I would have my miracle already. If it were really that simple, brother, then I would be walking in the wholeness of what it is that that scripture truly says, if it really means what it means. God's not a man that he shall lie, neither, neither, neither the son of man that he shall and or has to repent. Has he not spoken it? And shall he not bring it to pass? See, God's word is true. And what we need to do is not listen to our flesh, is not listen to the symptoms, not listen even sometimes to the reports or the negative voices that are trying to say, well, it is gonna, it's just, it, it just the way that it is. It's just gonna be the way. So, you know, you got dealt the cards, so you gotta deal with them. No, it's time to shuffle the deck. Well, you got dealt the cards, you know, might as well just take the hand that you were dealt. The devil is a lie. It's time to switch it over in time to put the cards back on the table because Jesus Christ in the blood of our Christ and the stripes upon his back has come to heal, has come to deliver, has come to make and set you free. So right now, brothers and sisters, I know many of you are hurting in your bodies, in your minds, in your hearts, in your souls. I want to come into agreement with you right now and believe God that even in this moment, that even right now, that by the anointing who is our Christ, that by the Spirit of God who can and move upon you right now in this situation and go through this camera and touch you right there as you're holding your phone or on your tablet or in the laptop in hand or, or listening in the car as you're driving or watching on a TV screen, that faith has no limitation. Faith has no distance. That by the power of the Spirit, that God can, and He desires to, and He wants to move in and upon your life, my life, and all of us. Even if you're believing God for a financial miracle, a healing in your body, that's, that sickness to up and out of your body and to loose you and let you go. So let's pray and let's believe God. Stretch forth your faith. Don't pray just receive just like you're breathing just receive don't pray don't get in your head don't think about anything right now in this moment other than 
let's just look upon Jesus. Let's think about the whipping post as his back was lashed open. Remember, he did that for you and me. So just be still and know that he is God. And right now we're going to agree. So Father, right now, I come before you in the name that is above all names, the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. I lift up my brothers and I lift up my sisters. Whatever is concerning their hearts, their bodies, their minds, their finances, their health, their family, every in any situation, Father, that is concerning them. I speak life. I speak the peace of God. I speak the love of Christ and the power of your spirit come nigh into them right now in Jesus name. Every every tormenting lying spirit I break your assignment right now in Jesus name get off them loose them and let them go come up and out and never again touch them never again come against them and or their family get out of their life they do not belong to you they are the property of Jesus Christ so father I thank you for your sons I thank you for your daughters and may the power of your spirit right now move upon them right now right and move upon their body right now in Jesus name all pain leave that body all sickness come up and out of that body any disease loose that body and let it go I curse that sickness I curse that disease I curse that spirit of infirmity and and may you be bind bound right now by the authority of Christ loose that person loose that son and loose that daughter of God that belongs to the Lord so father right now in the name of Jesus touch the hearts and the lives of your people who need an encounter with you right now now faith is now faith is father i thank you lord because you are the bread of life and i thank you lord for you are the healing power and i thank you lord that by the wounds of our christ and by the stripes upon his back at the whipping pulse you paid the price for our healing for our miracles for he was wounded for our transgressions and the chastisement of our peace was upon him. Oh, but then it also says over in the book of John, 2 John, I believe as he is, so are we in this world. As he is, so are we in this world. There's no sickness upon Jesus. As he is, so are you in this world. There's no disease upon our Christ. As he is, so are you in this world. There is no infirmity or spirit in and upon our Christ. As he is, so are you in this world. So see that reality and understand and know that you in Christ are one. He is in you and you are in him. You are seated with him, but he also is in you for the kingdom of God heaven of God is within you. Glory be to Jesus. So Father, I thank you right now for the healing power and the anointing of your spirit coming nigh unto your people right now in Jesus' name. Sickness come up and out of that body. Loose that body and let it go right now in Jesus' name. I speak the life, the healing power of Jesus Christ come nigh unto you right now in Jesus name and the peace of our Lord come nigh unto you in Jesus name and the power of his love come nigh unto you in Jesus name ah spirit of infirmity come up and out there's many of you under the sound of my voice where where you even, you've even went to the doctor and they can't find out what it is spirit of infirmity get off them loose their bodies and let them go come up and out and never again torment them and come against them ever like this ever again in Jesus name loose them loose their family and may the power and the healing power of Christ be with you always in Jesus name